Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesdays, and it's season six, and we are carrying on having our discussion with uh, the gentleman from Pure Storage, uh, the local guys, and it's been really, really good to meet uh, the new country manager, Ant, and as always, we have Dan with us. He's been uh, on a few of our episodes, but in our previous episode, we, you guys spoke about this whole idea of reintroducing Pure. Right, and you spoke about not just in the local market, but in more sub-Saharan Africa. So maybe you know, there's a few tenants to what does that mean, right? What does reintroducing pure mean to the local market, and what does it mean to you guys? So maybe that's a topic we can chat on. I know you guys mentioned things like uh, um, you know being simple. Uh, there's uh, you know unrivaled uh, elements to it. Uh, we spoke about transformation or being transformative to our end customers, and then obviously one that's you know key for everybody is sustainability. So yeah. maybe maybe we can go into those. Yeah, things. absolutely. I think I mean I'll start with I think a a mantra that our founders had of 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 a dream, right? mm. the dream twelve years ago before we were in stealth before we GA'd a product. Um, to to fundamentally replace disk in the data center. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, A belief that every piece of data in your data center should be a first class citizen. Just because it's backup, just because it's archived, doesn't mean it's less or more important to uh, production SQL or or an AI platform, whatever it is. Um, All data in the data center is a first class citizen. And we did a great job. Over the last twelve years, you know, disrupting, innovating, um, influencing—I mm. think it's fair to say the the entire market or the entire industry. Absolutely, trendsetters, thought leaders, hundred percent. Yeah. You know, pushing the boundaries in terms of Dan touched on it in the previous episode with with Pure One, um, bringing in a, a platform like uh, or a concept or a platform like FOSS file and object yeah. um, that that was typically unseen as the emergence of you know file and block becoming a little bit more enterprisey so we have we've we've disrupted and, in, and influenced and innovated significantly over the last 12 years um, and and at the core of it is those you know three or four principles that we are in principle reintroducing pure with, yeah, you know yeah. and cast your mind back to the, the, the first <laughs> installation guide you know on a business card I remember and, this uh, and it's you know, it, it is it's, it's still it's still yeah, getting simple, started right, <laughs> right. Getting started on the one side of your business card, um, and this is how to operate uh, operate the peer storage array, right? I think uh, you know. I remember daily monitoring. Yeah, this is daily monitoring, and at the time, uh, the anecdote I had is one of the competition. Uh, there was a video peer used to put out, and uh, <laughs> yeah, which one where he sniffs the flesh and goes, "There's that one." Oh, there's, there's plenty. <laughs> go do yourself a favor and go to Pure's uh, uh, YouTube channel. Go to some of the older ones, but. I think they had a stack of, of manuals like this, right? yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying right, yeah. you know, you've yeah. just got your brand new competitor storage array and uh, here's your, your operating manuals. And they, they basically said, well, here's your peer and here's how to get yeah. everything, yeah. right? So, so, I mean, simplicity, yeah. being simple. Taking something very complex and making it really, really simple. Um, and, and I mean, it's gotten complex again, right? In terms yeah. of the industry, in terms of the technology, mm-hmm. more layers of abstraction. We start looking at what AI has brought into things, mm-hmm. containerization, hybrid cloud. all of these things, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, so the world hasn't stayed simple. No, no. Right? No. But Pure is actually, you know, in its essence, still, one of the simplest platforms to operate and to do very, very complex, kind of scary stuff with sometimes in storage world, yeah. um, Pure makes it easy. Yeah. And you know it that it's, uh, you know, I'm not a software engineer or whatever, you know, I've got Thank to, goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> to, to my mother and father's uh, disappointment, <laughs> because I did, you know, I, I, I've got a computer science degree and, you know, uh, developing and coding is, is really hard. I mean, it's, uh, but, What's what's a lot harder is taking what 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 essentially what developers do is they take a real world problem and they try and distill it down into the most efficient, most elegant piece of code that they can, right? And they try to abstract away the complexity yeah. of whatever that task is, right? Absolutely. So um, lazy developers or maybe developers or companies that don't have the time or the investment into R and D they expose that complexity to customers because it's easier to expose it than to make it simple in a GUI or in a wizard yeah. or in a visual representation. Yeah. And I think that's what Pure has really done really well. I think we, our R&D percentage is like 
three, four times more yeah. than, than some of our competitors. And it shows. Yeah. Right and we, we have to keep things simple. One of the mantras uh, that uh, our founder has is everything that we do needs to be evergreen. Right. Mm -hmm. So we, we can maybe talk about evergreen yep. at a different stage. Yeah. Mm. But well. at the same time, everything that we need to do has to be simple. It has to be that someone that's relatively uh, technology focused mm. can look at, can figure out. The GUI and can go. Oh, okay. I think I, I think I know what that means. Intuitiveness. Intu yeah. Try and keep that intuitiveness be able to, instead uh, of you know having to reference a manual, having to go back and check chapter five and all this exactly. to make sure that they're not going to break something. So yeah. that that I think is really hard. And part of the reintroduction of Pure is to to say to people, hey, don't take that for granted. Absolutely. You know? mm. Because you have valuable. it now. Yeah. This is quite valuable, yeah. you know, and it's quite and it's made your life easy. But don't take it for granted because it's part of the value of our culture. And, and if we architecturally build it the right way, which is what we've done right from the onset, giving you and our customers and our partners the opportunity to consume it in any way mm. becomes really, really easy. Mm. Mm. Becomes really, really mm. easy mm. to to build. And, and I know we'll touch on it as well to build a subscription model or to mm. or to build evergreen like we've we've spoken about mm. um and all of those those benefits that 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 that, that subscription comes with for Absolutely. our customers it was really easy to build that yeah right? and but we'll definitely get to that because absolutely. because the the flexibility or the agility of the technology often influences the 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 flexibility of the commercial model right? yeah and and those it, two go hand it in makes hand. us easier absolutely yeah, right so flexible, so uh, let's 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 uh We'll definitely circle back to yeah, that. 100%. So, I mean, in, in terms of simplicity, then, are you saying, excuse me, that you are unrivaled in that level? Is that part of reintroducing uh, reintroducing? Pure? Yeah, we think so. Absolutely. We think so. It's, uh, I think I mentioned previously, um, I still think we have a gigantic lead. Mm. Um, I don't, if we, if we, you know, have a little market analysis of the rest of the market and yes, the storage market is quite big. I think it's like $28 billion worldwide yeah. or whatever. And Pure still has a fraction of that. Uh, we still don't have our fair share, we think. Mm. Uh, but we don't believe that the other players are keeping up with us uh, or investing. And we actually see them quite distracted uh, with doing and trying to cover all the different segments of their market, right? So these big players have probably got very large portfolios. They full stack, you know, sort of vendors. They have to look and they have to spend their money wisely. And we feel, I feel just personally, is that they are pivoting away or they looking away from storage. Uh, they still want to keep it. They still want to sell it. They still mm. want to make money out of it. Mm. That's for sure. Trying to commoditize it. But commoditizing it is the way that everybody else is. They keep that share or they try to keep that share. And, and, we, and we believe it's high technology. Sorry, yeah. I, yeah. I just want to touch on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the crown jewels of our of our customers. Absolutely. So, so, so no, it's not. It's a, there's, it's a high value uh, platform mm. that's that's driving you know driving the uh, mission critical workloads. It, yes. it cannot be uh, you know treated like you would uh, you know your your average uh, average Joe type mm. of uh, element. I think one of the things that is quite differentiating is we see a lot of the the big players in the market. Um, being on a, a more acquisition strategy when it comes to technology, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's usually you know the two the two kind of legs that you have. It's either through acquisition, market acquisition, mm -hmm. and technology innovation acquisition. So mm -hmm. a new startup comes out, gets bought out because mm -hmm. of the tech, either to kill it, right, or to yeah, integrate it, right, or you have an organization such as Peer, which is you know kind of stayed true to that innovation. Started yeah. off as one of those smaller organizations really innovative, really driving the, the thought leadership, um, didn't get acquired, you know, in, in, design, in the early stages. Yeah, exactly, in the early stages. Um, and is continuing to innovate, right? Absolutely. And and I think that's where, you know, if you had to measure rivalry, um, you know, acquisition is almost, I'm not saying it's the easy way out, but it definitely in terms of uh, R&D investment, mm -hmm. uh, where you're placing your best, right? Mm -hmm. R&D, in the skills, in the mm -hmm. people, in the in the tech, or do you place it into uh, into something that uh, that's uh, you know a, a acquisition strategy? So I mean, we touched briefly also on transformative um, you know technology. Uh, let's let's maybe just kind of recap how that fits into the relaunching of uh, of Peer. Yeah, I mean, we the you know our, un, uh, in our opinion our unrivaled technology leadership, as we touched on in the previous episode, makes transforms the day-to-day -day lives of IT. You know, I, you know, IT has a bad rap. 
you know, <laughs> it's, in, in, inside inside any organization, you know, it's a cost center. You Often know, seem like that, not a strategic enabler. Yeah, not a yeah, but it's changing, right? Mm. But you know, you know, with DevOps coming into the mm-hmm. fold, which is technically IT, uh, but at the end of the day, our jobs here together, us three, is to make heroes out of the people that we are going to empower with our technology. That is, it. That, that, is what, that, is, that is what we do, right? Mm. We make heroes out of them so they can offer amazing, stable, high-performance, simple, scalable, effective technology to their business and to free that business from the restraints that they've had in the past with storage vendors that box them up. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you buy this, you, yeah. you, you're you in that box. You can't yeah. move outside you, that box. Yeah. And you yeah. haven't had a choice, right, for yeah. however many decades. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, you, you and did it this way. That's the way you did it. And yeah. once you, once the box is done, once the box's subscription is done, throw it away yeah. and move to another box that I'm going to sell you for a slightly higher price with incremental gains in terms <laughs> of technology. And the cycle repeats itself. Absolutely. So we have, we, I think we have successfully broken out our customers out of that cycle, and we've elevated the yeah. the we've elevated IT to more of a strategic enabler for the business because now they don't necessarily have to worry about storage decisions. Yeah, they can f- try and focus on operational decisions or business decisions, yeah. mm-hmm. decisions that like switch on other areas of their business. And I think that's why it's transformative. And you know. I, at the storage admin layer and yep. then at the IT manager layer and the all CEO the layer, stakeholders all they can take those and bring gains it and bring it up into their business. And I think that's what we that's our job. That's what we have to do. Transforming Brilliant. transforming depreciation cycles, you're transforming tech, you're transforming uh like Dan says, the operational side. Yeah. And and again it's all driven by by the stuff that we do. Yeah. Right? Brilliant. And and I think that's the 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 in love part that I said I touched on last time right is where <laughs> is where you you know you uh, no, look the, 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 uh, guys the passion the passion no. definitely there right we we get it and we you know so so I think you know this is brilliant for our next episode I'd love to explore the subscription the sustainability aspect of yeah, uh, you know of the peer yeah. offering. Um, you know, we really thank you once again, both of you, for joining us on, uh, thank you, on Whiteboard Wednesdays uh, with Vanna. And thank you, too, to the audience for uh, for supporting us. And, uh, yeah, look forward to episode uh, the next episode where we great. discuss uh, further the reintroduction and reintroducing thank Pure. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you. Thanks, thank, you. thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, and follow our LinkedIn page.